Damn, girl, that smells strong, yo. It's good. She's smoking weed while I'm recording. What is going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to another episode of Flight Four Hype. That's right, baby, where we talk sneakers, right? It's your boy, Two Letter CJ, back with some more sneaker news. And today we are talking about Virgil Abloh. Yeah, you know the guy. Uh, artistic director of Louis Vuitton. He got his own clothing brand. His whole entire empire off-white. They've been blowing up for years. Like, if you didn't know, now you know. Like, come on now. You've been living under a rock. Everybody knows who he is. But anyways, him and Nike have finally confirmed that they are doing another big multicolored collaboration called V20. Now, before we get into too much detail, you know what we're going to do here. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to break it down. But before we get into that, you know what we do here. Pre-recorded turn up. Let's jump into it. She don't know my name, but she know all my tunes. so much for tuning in with your boy man before we get into all the details and all the hot stuff and all the hot tea and what's a spill man about this collaboration if you are new to this channel and you love everything about sneaker news sneaker challenges and everything about the sneaker culture in general man then make sure you smash that subscribe button it definitely helps us go a long way and helps us to our goal of becoming a monetized channel guys we are like this close so thank you to everyone who's been supporting and been shouting us out and just been jumping on our wave, man. Cause I'm telling you, man, Flight for Hype, we started this, what, seven, eight months ago now and to see where it is right now. Not that like we're surprised because we've been working real hard on it because it's all about consistency when it comes to YouTube, but just the support that we've been getting from people all over the world. We got American homies that have been shouting us out. We've been doing a lot of stuff with them, so we definitely appreciate it, man. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Make sure you touch that thumbs up. Make sure you like the video. I know before I even talk about the topics in the video, but you already like your boy. We just did pre-recording turn up. Y'all turned up with me. Come on, let's get it, guys. Let's get it, guys. So let's talk about what we already know about the Virgil Abloh Off-White and Nike collaboration that is dropping in 2021. It's going to be a versatile, multicolor of different Nike sneakers that Off-White is going to sprinkle their deconstructive vibe all over once again. Now, there was already two sneakers that were already confirmed. It was the two University Gold Off-White Nikes that were confirmed, but they were like kind of not confirmed because if you guys didn't know, he has this like secret website that has, you know, actually pending on all these pixelated sneakers. And there was a few that we already know, you can just see. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it. We already know that the Canary Yellow Jordan 1 Off-Whites are dropping and we're gonna talk about that. And there's a few other ones. We got the um, the Future Dunks that he's gonna do, the blue ones, those absolutely look fire as well too. But let's talk about the one that is going to stand out as the most anticipated Off-White Nike collab of 2021. And that's the Jordan 1 Off-White Canary Yellows. Now, these ones have been teased for almost a year now. Um, since the sample was first surfaced at Virgil's Figure of Speech exhibition at the MCA Chicago in mid-2019, these sneakers have been on everybody's radar. Now, now that they're actually confirmed, a lot of people are just peeking their eyes, can't wait to see them in person. The pictures that I've seen online look absolutely amazing. I mean, the Canary Yellow, if it was on an actual Jordan 1, I'd probably be like, eh, I really don't want it. But the fact that Off-White is throwing their touches on it, you guys already seen the UNC ones, the Chicago ones. We already know what Virgil and Off-White can do together when they're forming these sneakers. So this one is going to be a big, big, big hit. So like I was saying, the Jordan 1 Off-White collaboration, the Canary Yellows, these were announced alongside six other pixelated sneakers that stayed actually pending above them. Now, if you look closely, you can definitely tell that these sneakers have been kind of teased on Twitter and on IG through, you know, different IG sources that work very close with these people. And obviously they're building a really good rapport on ter in terms of how they're really building the hype around these sneakers which is all good and fine, and I think that this is definitely going to be huge. All right, so I gotta go into my little spiel about how I feel 
about Virgil and Off-White and Nike. In my personal opinion, I feel like this is going to be their last foray in a sense because in my opinion, how long can Virgil really just keep kind of reiterating Nike sneakers that we've already seen? Putting his deconstructive vibe and his details on sneakers and silhouettes that we've already seen is eventually going to get played out. But clearly it has not gotten played out yet. Now I think this is a very smart move from Nike um, and this is the point I wanted to get across mainly because Adidas is making big, big, big moves this year. We got a whole plethora of different Yeezys dropping, different colorways, silhouettes, the whole Shazam. I keep saying that in my videos, I like that word, Shazam. You know, we got a whole bunch of different Yeezys dropping, different colorways. They actually dropped the price of the 700s, which is really, really dope, you know, make it more affordable for everyone who wants to cop it. Now, earlier this year, I did make a video on it. Um, Adidas has also acquired Jerry Lorenzo from Fear of God. Yes, if you have not checked out that video, make sure you go and check that out right now. And I think that Nike really is kind of on their heels right now. And they kind of called the Virgil and they're like, yo, Virgil, listen, they got Jerry, they got Ye. Adidas is doing some big stuff. Listen, we need you to do another collab, you know what I'm saying? And we're just like, yeah, no problem. It's, it's not a problem. We can do that. I can sprinkle my sauce on it. You know what I mean? Like, and he just had to go in with it. Now, how successful this is going to be, obviously when it comes to Off-White, the resale value is going to be there, the value of the sneakers are going to be there. He always makes that one Grail sneaker and it's funny because he confirmed the Grail sneaker before all of the other ones even though he kind of released certain pictures showing of what they're already going to do. But it's going to be interesting to see, you know, in the future if Virgil and Nike are going to continue their collaborations. Now on to my next point. How long is Virgil going to be able to do this before he makes his own Nike silhouette? That's the question. See, it's one thing to kind of take somebody else's silhouette and design and sprinkle your, you know, sauce and your creativity and your vibe and your energy on it. But it's a whole nother thing to do a collab with a big company like Nike and for Nike to say, okay, here's Virgil, make your own silhouette. That's what I'm waiting for. And I think that's what a lot of people are waiting for. And if you're not waiting for it, then this is something that's gonna really like, you know, tickle your mind a little bit. Like, are we gonna continue supporting Off-White and Nike because he's just deconstructing a bunch of sneakers and silhouettes that we've already seen? Or are we gonna kind of hold off and be like, listen, now we want some change because it's up to us at the end of the day as consumers that are buying these products and sneakers, um, what we want. Cause they listen to us, you know what I mean? If we didn't, like a lot of his off-white stuff, I guarantee Nike would have either either dropped him or they would be like, okay, let's try something else, create your own silhouette in and of itself. Not saying that I don't like a lot of the things that Virgil has done with Nike, because I do. My whole thing is my whole thing here is we gotta stop conforming and stop just continuously, you know, buying the same thing over and over again. We need to see something different. We need to see a different level of creativity. Am I asking for too much as a sneakerhead? You guys let me know in the comment section below. All right guys, so in closing, this video is mainly to bring some informative. All right guys, so in closing, this video is mainly to bring some informative information about the Off-White and Nike collab coming on 2021, dubbed the 20s. But in my conclusion, I really wanna spark some conversation in terms of is Off-White kind of falling off. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting to a point now where it's like, it's not what it used to be. Sometimes when you see too much of the same thing or you see too much of the same collab or you see something too much just in your face all the time, it gets kind of played out. And not to mention, if you notice what Virgil's doing, what's happening with Nike, Virgil's main brand, Off-White, if you look at a lot of their sneakers, not only are they super pricey, but they're not that nice, in my opinion. Now I understand high-end streetwear fashion, that that's gonna be the vibe and the energy that it's going for. But for us here in the sneaker community and the sneaker culture, that kind of grew up with the Nikes and the Adidas and things that more were more, I guess, conform to a more sustainable society in terms of being uh, affordable, it's kind of hard for me to look at Off-White and be like, yeah, I really mess with this brand. I really love the brand. 
if I were to get anything from Off White, it would just be for club purposes or saying like, yeah, I got an Off White sneaker, or I got an Off White this. It's become less of what it is and more of what it is being portrayed as to people out there. Do you get my drift? I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like what Nike and Off White is doing, but I feel like Off White as a brand in and of itself, it's kind of getting washed up a little bit. And I think that they need to take a step back in terms of what they're doing with Nike. If Virgil wants to stay with Nike, then Nike should give him more creative range and really give him the, the floor to create his own silhouette and really bring that off-white look to Nike. I bring this up all the time. What Jerry Lorenzo did with, with Nike, to be honest with you, Kanye West and Jerry, what they did with Nike, I haven't seen anybody else do since. They created their own silhouettes, they create their own colorways, and those sneakers will never, ever lose their resale value, never lose their history and their mark in the sneaker community since they've released. Virgil, he's kind of just taken what's already made and deconstructed it and made it look cool, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like what they're doing. The Jordan 5s that he dropped last year, the sales, by far, top five sneakers that dropped last year hands down you can quote me on that but looking to the future i'm really curious what nike and is well nike and virgil are going to be doing together in terms of how they're going to really set the bar and push the bar a lot higher because trust me adidas adidas got a lot of game of their sleeves right now yay's dropping a lot of new silhouettes and colorways uh this year jerry just signed on to adidas like they got some ammo in the clip and I think they're ready to fire on all cylinders as soon. I would say February, as soon as February hits, we're gonna see what Adidas got cooking. So, you know, I wish nothing but the best for, for Nike and Virgil, but right now I'm still, I'm st in my opinion, you know, Adidas is still, you know, number one in terms of what they're gonna be doing this year. So enough of my ranting guys, you guys seen me talk about it for a while now. Let me know in the comment section below, man, how you guys really feel about this collaboration. Yes, I know you love Virgil. Yes, I know you love Off-White. Yes, I, I know you love collaborations. But what is your opinion on the fact that we have not seen a Virgil and Nike create their own silhouette and truly put him at the forefront as a sub-creator under their brand? Y'all let me know in the comment section below and thank you so much for just tuning in and just kicking it with your boy and just having a little conversation. If you are new to the channel and you love everything about sneaker cultures, sneaker history, sneaker battles, just the whole shazam, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click that thumbs up, man, because it does go a very long way and I definitely appreciate it. Shout out to my boy Jordan, man. Yo, y'all see his new background? Fire. Absolutely flames. Like, I gotta, I gotta set my game, I'm not gonna lie, I gotta set my game. But um, I definitely do appreciate all the love and support I've been getting for the past couple of days, a couple of months, sorry, not a couple of days. I definitely appreciate all the love and support I've been getting the past couple of months since I've, you know, been doing this YouTube thing. So y'all keep supporting, man. Keep hitting me in the DMs. It's no problem, man. Other than that, it's been great talking to you guys. It's your boy CJ coming at you again. Flight for hype. We out, baby. Ah. Oh.